If you've ever wandered down the dark alleys of horror cinema, where the screams are real, the blood is fake, and the transformations are hairy, then you've probably stumbled upon the terrifyingly talented Catherine Isabel. Yes, folks, we're talking about the woman who put the scream in Scream Queen and the bite in Werewolf. Quite literally, Catherine Isabel, born on November 2nd, 1981, in the eerie fog of Vancouver, British Columbia, is like a Halloween candy that's sweet on the outside but packs a punch that'll leave you howling at the moon. With a resume that includes everything from chilling TV appearances in MacGyver to starring in blood-soaked horror films, Isabel has cemented her place in the Horror Hall of Fame. Her role as Ginger Fitzgerald in the Ginger Snaps trilogy not only made her a horror icon, but also ensured that no one would ever look at puberty or full moons the same way again. Picture this, Isabel as Ginger, a teen obsessed with death who, after a close encounter with a lycanthrope, starts sprouting fur and fangs like she's auditioning for a very twisted version of Teen Wolf. She doesn't just embrace her transformation, she growls, slashes, and gnashes her way through it, all while maintaining the kind of teenage angst that makes you want to give her a hug and then run for your life. In fact, it's a miracle Isabel didn't get nominated for an Oscar for Best Portrayal of a Teenage Werewolf Trying to Cut Off Her Own Tail. I mean, who else could make such a bizarre scenario both terrifying and oddly relatable? That takes talent, folks, a lot of talent. But Catherine Isabel is more than just a werewolf with a bad attitude. She's also a master of the macabre in American Mary, where she plays a medical student turned underground surgeon with a knack for, shall we say, unconventional body modifications. The role earned her the Fangoria Chainsaw Award for Best Actress in 2014, proving that she's not just a scream queen, but also a chainsaw-wielding one. Isabel's performance is so captivating that you'll find yourself rooting for Mary Mason, even as she's performing surgery that would make Dr. Frankenstein faint. Despite her on-screen love for gore, Isabel has admitted that she's squeamish about real blood. Yes, the woman who's spent more time covered in fake blood than a butcher on a busy day gets woozy at the sight of the real stuff. It's like finding out Dracula is afraid of the dentist. Hilarious but somehow fitting. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. Isabel's career hasn't been all blood and guts, though. She shared the screen with Hollywood heavyweights like Al Pacino and Robin Williams in Insomnia, proving that she can hold her own in any genre. Whether she's playing a fairy tale character in another Cinderella story or taking on supernatural threats in Netflix's The Order, Isabel's versatility is as impressive as her ability to make you sleep with the lights on. In real life, Isabel has had her own brush with horror when she nearly died from a viral infection in 2003, which caused a lung to collapse and led to kidney failure. She fought her way back, showing the same grit and determination that her characters exhibit when faced with supernatural threats. So, whether you know her as a werewolf, a rogue surgeon, or simply as the woman who's been in more horror films than you've had nightmares, Catherine Isabel is a force to be reckoned with. She's the scream queen with a sense of humor, the actress who's seen it all and lived to tell the tale, and maybe growl a little along the way. If you're ever in need of a horror fix, just pop in one of her movies. But be warned, you might want to keep the lights on and avoid any full moons. Who's your daddy?